uh, my, my late husband and I were living in a small town in New Brunswick, uh, population 6,000 in the early 50s, and uh, uh, we were invited to go to a, a meeting where someone was going to be talking about uh, uh, the plight of war refugees. So we went to the meeting and this very petite woman in a spanking uniform stood up and then with this very distinctive accent began to to talk to us about the uh, the, the whole situation and uh, she made quite an impression to begin with but then when she continued with her story and 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 actually produced some ragged clothing that that uh, she had brought back that these children wore. We, we were quite struck by it and, and on the spot became sponsor, uh, sponsors of the USC and of LATA and then that was the beginning of a long, long connection and uh, with her. And, and uh, eventually there were, when they had the program where you could adopt re uh, children from in Korea or India, we did that and uh, she was meticulous about passing on messages from them and if they had provided us with any um, gifts she would deliver them and, and and how she kept that all straight with all of the people that she was in, in involved with and uh, uh, so that that continued for some years and and uh, uh, we were living in Montreal at that point but then w when we moved here we didn't have quite the same connection though my husband did become treasurer of the uh, of USC and, and, and I used to stuff envelopes. <laughs> that was about the size of my, my uh, involvement. Uh, and then gradually uh, because of other commitments we uh, but uh, I mean her, her impact on us and she and, and the, the, as I say the fact that she could still keep such a personal contact with us where it was uh, she, it was we our memories of her are very still very strong and, and, and she was quite a unique person.